Welcome back, students and faculty, new and old. Thank you for joining us this year. I'm Claire. And I'm Luke with your Friday Focus. It's great to be back for another year at Mundelein, but some things have changed. This year, we've decided to do announcements a little bit differently. Instead of doing them three days a week, we're doing one big segment called the Friday Focus. We'll be covering stories like sporting events, important news for clubs and activities, and anything going on in Mundelein. That's not all that's changed, though. We've also added a brand new STEM building, which includes new science classes, language classes, and a brand new business incubator class. For the new freshmen, it may not seem like such a big deal, but it's a completely different school. Let's go ahead and take a look inside the new and improved Mundelein High School building with coverage from Caitlin Watkins. Do you feel it? My name is Caitlin Watkins and I'm standing here in the new C-Wing which has been in planning for over three years. I got a chance to talk with Dr. Greenwood who told me about the opportunities that this building has to offer. The new building at Mondelein High School provides our students with opportunities to experience what it's like in careers in business, engineering, science research. These programs are pretty cool because it gives our students a head start if they want to go into college or even get an entry level position in these careers. I was also able to get a student's opinion on the new business incubator class. So currently I'm in business incubator which so far is a really cool class. It allows us to gain world world experience by having mentors and coaches come in and teach us and it also allows us to form groups to mock real world businesses and have us potentially gain investors to start up our business. Not only has the new building helped its prospective students, but other activities as well. So the new building allowed for more chamber ensembles in the D hallway. And what chamber ensembles are for band, they're small bands that we go through that we split into during the band periods and that's where we have practice rooms. So in the chamber ensembles downstairs, it's really helped us um, get more space for the band and it's really improved our band program. After several years of waiting, the new C-Wing is finally open to offer students new opportunities for the real world. Now we'll just have to wait for the next plan to improve the rest of the building. From the balcony of the new C-Wing, I'm Caitlin Watkins and I hope to see you next time. Thanks Caitlin for that awesome video and make sure to check out the balcony on the third floor. With the new building come new students. Luke, do you have any advice for the incoming freshmen? Nothing really comes to mind, but I know Lindsay Dickens has some great advice from returning students and teachers in a video she made. Let's take a look. Yeah. Advice for incoming freshmen. Hmm. My advice for incoming freshmen is to make sure you keep track of your grades and keep up with them because freshman year grades matter. Get involved. Join a team or a student organization. Become active in the school because students who are active in the school do better in school because they like it more. Don't stand in the middle of the hallway. Enjoy the experience, make new friends, and get to class on time. Super important to be timely to all of your classes. Walk on this side of the hall, and if people are coming at you, you gotta read through. During class, don't use your phone. What? My advice for incoming freshmen is do not procrastinate on your homework. Keep organized. So use those planners, make sure you're turning everything in on time, and you'll be good to go. Some advice I'd give the freshmen is to avoid the band hallway. It gets really busy during passing periods. Thanks, Lindsay. I hope that gives our new students an idea of what to do and maybe not to do. But one thing I can say is that everyone should participate in Red Rage. Red Rage is our Mundelein High School section at all the amazing sports events we have here at our school. As you have learned from our first assembly, students go crazy and just have a great time, so I encourage everyone to take part of that. Students had their first opportunity to take part of Red Rage at our sports scrimmages and back to school bash last Friday. Claire, weren't you there? Duh, everyone was there, but in case you did miss it, here's a video of all the awesome things that took place by your very own Claire Bullington and my good friend Stefan Hatchett. Hi, I'm Stefan.
Stefan Hatchie here, here at Mundelein High School's third annual back to school bash. Behind me is the student section, Red Rage, and we're excited to see what tonight has to offer. The night started out with scrimmages between volleyball, soccer, and football. These games gave a sneak peek of their upcoming performance in the season. We got the chance to talk with Coach Calhoun with what we can expect from football. From tonight's scrimmage, the first thing I was happy, we, we played hard and we didn't get hurt, nobody's injured. As far as the rest of the season's concerned, I mean, I'm not going to guarantee anything except that we're going to compete and we're going to play hard and we'll have a chance to win every time we step on the field. That's, that's what I expect. After the games, students continued on to enjoy food, music, and inflatables. Well, Stefan, I think I'm most excited for the inflatables because, I mean, look at them. They are so cool and so big. Like, I feel like I'm at, like, Pump It Up or something. While students were playing human foosball and after an unfortunate accident, students could also enjoy dunking their friends and Mundelein faculty. After a fun night of hanging out with friends on the field, I think we can definitely say this year's Back to School Bash was a great success. This is Stefan Hatchett reporting from the Back to School Bash. Wow, that looked like an awesome time. Great job on the video, Claire. Thanks, Luke. Hey, what's one thing you're looking forward to this year? Um, I would say f the football season, my upcoming lacrosse season. Why? Well, we asked students around the school to see what they're looking forward to most this year. Here's a video from Robert Zankler. I'm looking forward to meeting all my new students because I can't wait to have a new group of AP Psychos. I am so excited this year about the new wing, the new addition to see what everyone's doing up there. And what I'm looking forward to this year is meeting new people and taking new classes. You know, being back in one line, I was a former alumni. I grew up in my line as well, and I just want to get to know the students, the faculty, and make my line the best place it can be this year. to softball this year, because um, I really love it and I enjoy it, and yeah. New year, new me. Alright, I think I'm most looking forward to theater, because I'm a big part of the theater program here, and I love it. My homecoming week, the court, it's turnabout court, and definitely Mr. Mustard. Okay, so I'm most excited for boys volleyball, because I'm in it, and I'm super excited to see how we do this quiet this year because I'm looking forward to meeting meeting the people. Personally, I'm more or most excited for tennis because it's my last year and I love tennis. The leadership is super excited for homecoming week and we're really excited to have the freshmen get involved with the back to school bash and all the homecoming festivities. This year I'm most excited about the gymnastics season because I feel like we're going to do really well this year. A club that I'm in is film club and I'm actually really excited to go back to that because um, I was in it last year and it was really fun making videos and being creative. So. so this year I'm really looking forward to track season because I'm a track athlete and that's just what I look forward to most. I'm excited for broadcasting team because I just can't wait to get more free food. I'm most excited about going to the football games with my friends. Thanks Rob for that video. Now to really kick off the new STEM building, we had an amazing presentation by a very intelligent man. His name is Dr. Mark Sawyer and has found six elements on the periodic table. But not only that, but he has worked in countries all over the world. Here's a video by Sam Slaughter in case you missed it. Hi, I'm Luke Loading with Maine TV's Friday Focus. Today we are joined by Dr. Mark Sawyer, who is involved in the Nuclear and Chemical Science Division and has discovered six elements on the periodic table with his heavy metal team. He is here to see our new STEM building and the students taking the new classes. I think it's uh, fantastic. Uh, I wish I had uh, such a facility when I went through high school. The students seem very excited to see what he has to say today. What I found exciting is how you find an atom and how you find how to create different atoms. I found that really interesting. Um, I just enjoyed how we explained how they synthesized the element and the scientific process behind it. There's yttrium, ytterbium, actinium, rubidium, and boron, gadolinium, niobium, iridium, and strontium, and silicon, and silver, and samarium, and bismuth, bromine, lithium, beryllium, and barium. I'm going to tell you how we turn some elements into other elements. So it's the sorcery of synthesizing new elements. It looks like a lot of students enjoyed and took a lot out of this presentation, so back to you guys in the studio. 
Wow, that anchor looks so good. Great job, Sam. So full of knowledge. <laughs> but speaking of knowing things, let's jump to Greg for a segment we like to call Now You Know. Good morning, Mustangs. I'm Greg with Now You Know. Homecoming is just around the corner and tickets go on sale on Monday, August 29th. Get them for $10 if you buy them within September 2nd, or you can purchase one for $12 all the way to September 9th. The theme this year is Under the Sea. Picture day will be Wednesday, August 31st, and you will be dismissed during one of your class periods to go have your picture taken. Remember to smile big and look sharp. Broadcasting team has their first production next week at the home opener football game. If you missed yesterday's meeting, that's okay. Just stop by room A213 and talk to Mr. Meister. No experience is necessary. Any student interested in playing water polo? There is open gym on Tuesday and Thursday morning from 6 to 7.15 a.m. on August 30th through November 17th. If you have any questions, see Mr. Gates in room B130. Any student that has not gotten their yearbook, pick up at the bookstore, so make sure you see Ms. Olson. Also, if you want to pre-order your 2016-2017 yearbook, you may do so by September 30th for $50. Come join the Frenchies for a little French fun. French Club meets every other Thursday in room C106. Next meeting is Thursday, September 1st. See Ms. Ambry for, or Ms. Bray for details. You don't have to speak French to join. If you are interested in eating, creating, or critiquing videos, consider joining Film Club. Their first meeting will be on Thursday, September 15th. Do you want to be a wrestler? Well, Open Mass will be every Tuesday and Friday from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. Anybody is welcome. Lastly, for all you mathematicians, math team will meet September 14th. See Mr. Learner for more details. I'm Greg with Now You Know, and now you know. Back to you guys. And now you know. Thanks, Greg. Ah, and now for the best part of the school year, football. I agree. I can't wait for the games, but actually, there's one today. That's right. Catch your Marlon Mustangs take on Elgin Larkin at 6.30 on their home turf. Everyone should be wearing beach-themed clothing to make our Red Rage student section stand out. However, since the game's far away, the school decided to help everyone out by having a bus to take the fan section to the game in our beach attire. The bus will be at the front of the school and leave at 5. But first, let's take a look at this year's football team and maybe get a little pumped up for tonight by taking a look at this video made by Rachel Tipperider. So you... <laughs> been working for nine months for this first game. To improve from last season, we did weightlifting, speed training, and we brought it on and off the field. I love football because, you know, it really lets me, it's the one place I can really be myself. I just love the sport and I love being with my teammates and I just love getting after it with everybody. It's just what I love to do every single day. The football players aren't the only ones who have been preparing for this season. Red Rage couldn't be more excited for this year's football season. This Friday night, you can find me at the football game. Football game! I'll be at the football game. Football game! We're going to the football game. Make a football game. I'll be at the Mundelein football game. Football game! I'm going to the football game. Football game. Proud to say, this Friday, <laughs> me and my boy will be playing the football game. We messing it up. Let's go, baby! <laughs> Thanks, Rachel, for that amazing video. That's all we have for your first Friday Focus. We hope you enjoyed our new morning news format. But in the meantime, I'm Claire. And I'm Luke with Maine TV. Have a great day, Mundelein. We'll see you next week.